61 years ago, today, all eyes were on South Park Street that fronts the beautiful facade of Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. Just days before, the Arkansas governor, Orville Faubus, had called out the National Guard to prevent nine black students from entering that school on September 4th. Central High and its beautiful neighborhood had become ground zero in the march to end the five-decade legacy of Plessy versus Ferguson, separate but equal. Now, just over three years after Brown versus Board of Education, it was time for action. In a few days, on the 25th of this month, we will celebrate the successful integration of Central High School when the Little Rock Nine entered the school escorted by the 101st Airborne Division. It's fitting today, Mr. Speaker, that we pay tribute to the Little Rock Nine, their defenders, and the successful end to separate but equal. And I'm proud to recognize this important milestone today on the House floor and remember passing the bill one year ago that I authored that expands the park boundary for the National Historic Site at Little Rock Central High School. This historic and important touchstone for all those modern day history travelers retracing the steps of the Civil Rights Movement. The National Historic Site Visitor Center was opened in 2007 on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of Central High's integration. My bill extended the park boundaries to take into the houses that form the school front along South Park Street so that future generations will be able to picture that street just as it was and reflect on those 21 days of trauma back in 1957. Bringing the properties into the boundary of the site provides the National Park Service with more, more tools and flexibility for partnering with the homeowners to preserve historically their front facade and the yards of those homes. Together with the school, the seven homes across the street from Central will now stand as a living monument to the civil rights movement in Arkansas and the United States. I want to thank superintendent at that site, Robin White, for her leadership, her persistent work with the community to enhance it as an educational resource and a key stop on the civil rights trail. The Little Rock Nine's brave actions integrating Little Rock Central High will forever be remembered for their unparalleled role in ending so-called separate but equal. I'm honored to recognize the 61st anniversary of these brave actions by those young people. 